Hey bro, what's what's your lowest grade that you ever got in these three semesters? A B, I got. Like you have an opportunity and just don't let it go. That's it. It's a bit risky. the video you guys said a lot of questions about uh, vertical transfers and kya hota hai kaise hota hai so in this video everything about vertical transfers we'll be also talking about cgp this guy with me had, had the highest cgp in our batch after the first year so we'll be taking cgp tips also hi guys so this is sushant uh, i am so i am currently in cs so i took a vertical transfer in terms of pitch in so i took a vertical transfer from ec to cs uh, after my 1 2 पहले तो बहुत सारे लोगों को मिसकंसेप्शन होता है आई टॉक अबाउट व्हाट वर्टिकल ट्रांसफर एंड हॉरिजॉन्टल ट्रांसफर इज सो वर्टिकल ट्रांसफर एसेंशियली मींस दैट इफ यू आर गोइंग फ्रॉम इफ यू आर गोइंग फ्रॉम बीई टू एन एमई डिग्री दैट टेक्निकली इन बिट्स टर्म इज एज अ वर्टिकल ट्रांसफर ऑल द अदर ट्रांसफर्स आर हॉरिजॉन्टल ट्रांसफर सो एमएससी टू एमएससी फॉर एग्जांपल एमएससी बाय टू एमएससी को इज अ हॉरिजॉन्टल ट्रांसफर एमएससी टू बीई इज अ हॉरिजॉन्टल ट्रांसफर एंड इवन बीई टू बीई इज अ हॉरिजॉन्टल ट्रांसफर बट in the common language of bitsians we call uh, be to be as a vertical transfer and uh, msc to be is a vertical transfer and msc to msc is a horizontal transfer did you take bits uh, knowing that you would be able to get a vertical transfer why did you choose ec uh, if you wanted cs or the common question that most of people that have is like they take a good iit and they take a pretty bad branch and uh, then they were like ki ha vertical kar lenge and then they are in the hope of vertical transfer so what was your psychology behind that so like uh, i didn't take college for getting cs and all so my preferences were ec and cs like all electrical branches and cs so i just got uh, ec and i was fine with it and after coming to college like i got to know that we can we can uh, have a branch change and also after that i got to know like we can do it so i just tried my best and i got it Uh, I've I've seen this guy work a lot, like study a lot. So, do you totally deserve it, man? So, any tips for people who are just joining a college uh, based on a particular branch? Like, for example, a lot of people join a good college but take a ba- branch of not their not of their choice, and then they later on hope for vertical. So, what uh, any tips for that? Uh, like it's a bit risky actually, like because if you are aiming for a branch and if you If you are like after going to college, you have to work for it. Like if you have, you have to work to get to that branch, and then you don't know what kind of people come. Like who, like you may, you may face a lot of competition, and then you might end up in the branch of not of your choice. So it's a bit risky. And then like if you don't get it, you already said branch. Then like your four years are wasted basically because you have to study the subject which you don't, which you are not interested in. So like according to me, like if you are hundred percent sure, like you can do it. then you can go it's it's up to you actually so what is exactly is the kind of the cgp cut off for uh, vertical transfer like what is the so like yeah like around 9.6 9.7 is for cs uh, this the cg is good to go i guess because for our our time like uh, you know uh, we didn't i didn't give the one to complete so like uh, it was based on the mid sem grade so the cut offs varied and uh they were considering branch change after 2 1 actually but then i requested them so i got it in 1 2 after 1 2 only and for the horizontal cut off so the horizontal transfer the cut offs are generally 8.5 or something because the senior of mine so brother bhaiya he took a transfer from msc bio to msc co and around 8.5 cgp co if some of you want to know about that 8.5 is a pretty safe spot to have uh and that is probably greater than the cs cut off for dual lights also what is your schedule like it was what was your schedule like in college like a day in sushant's life <laughs> okay so like i used to like in the morning we had class and also like i used to attend all classes and after classes like in the evening and all like sometimes i would go to play cricket or football and then like sometimes we had labs in the evening so i would have to go for that uh or a uh, ct course also in the evening sometimes i had taken robotics course uh, so i used to attend that like after after classes sometimes if i get time i study or like i chill in my room only so sushant and i we both took the robotic robotics course and i remember i used to come once in a week and he used to teach me everything. <laughs> and yeah like uh, robotics ct course so how do you approach to a new course like what is your approach so do you just attend classes or do you study beforehand or something like 
like i don't study before and know like just start start a fresh each time and then like just like it depends from course to course like if if i am able to uh, if i am able to understand everything well then i just go with the flow of the course otherwise if i am f- facing any difficulty then i'll just look into extra material i'll search on the internet and then uh, like it depends uh, at one point if i fe- if i feel like if i need more attention to one topic so i'll concentrate more on that 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 uh, course otherwise like just generally how uh, just i don't i didn't change my approach of studying after coming to college no. just continue i just continued with whatever i was doing till now and then i just continue with that thing okay so basically you attend every classes and if you are feeling that you yeah i try to <laughs> yeah then uh, okay so this is a, this is a kind of a common trait that most of the toppers have like and i think that's the toughest like attending every classes especially with the policies that bits have so yeah that's like online class it's a bit tough to <laughs> concentrate on yeah 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 is it is it too much of a pressure that you have like that you had in first year like uh, if once you thought of okay you'll try for bolty so was that something which you constantly which you had constantly in your mind ki oh, I, what if i don't get or like something like that uh like see i told you before only like i didn't uh, i was okay with ecs as well so i didn't i was not uh, compulsory like i had to get cs and all so i was fine with ec but i was getting cs so i took it did you have a kind of a discipline time to make okay i'll sleep at this time during college uh, i'll sleep at this time or wake up at this time or something like i used to sleep early and wake up early uh, usually uh, but does not like it depends on day to day like if well, what to was your, define the early bro like when did you sleep and when did you wake up approximately like, used, like approx 10 30 and all i used to sleep in college <laughs> damn bro okay and when yeah. did you used to wake up Like around six and all, I used to wake up. Yeah, bro, that's like a solid, yeah, seven and a half hours sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so that used to be my sleep in two days, bro. <laughs> seven and a half hours. Okay. okay, fine. So this was a question that a lot of freshers wanted me to ask you. How do you motivate yourself to study again after uh, you perform badly in a particular exam or a midterm or a pretty big evaluation component? Most people are like, "Chalo, like we'll focus on other courses. We'll give up or something." because essentially you are acing every single course now like you are getting a or a minus or hey bro what's what's your lowest grade that you ever got in these three semesters a b i got that went to my test so how do you ace every single course bro that's a question after a bad exam you just you just don't give up actually because if you give up then your credit will just deteriorate no so then just yeah after after a bad exam just take some break after like one to hours break and then continue with whatever is next like just don't give up on that otherwise it's just going to affect your future if you just leave that course then your grades will just get worse and now so at least you can get whatever you are getting now is there anything you would like to change the way you were in your first year and what would be the what would you like to say to uh, sushant like sushant one year back <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i'll just tell him to enjoy every second of college life because one year later are going to get stuck in your home <laughs> so there are a lot of people who are studying hard doing everything that you are doing but aren't still aren't getting marks a lot of freshers are kind of that like, facing with that issues now being it online semester there was kind of a mal practice yeah. so any tips for that yeah like i faced a lot of like even i put in a lot of efforts in to and and because it was online i wasn't able to like get a uh, like those grades which i was getting in 2 1 2 and 1 1 so yeah, i don't know just continue what what you are doing just believe in the process that's it i guess i'm not sure about this part actually yeah uh find so anything that you feel i missed about vertical transfer or your journey then like just believe in what you are doing uh, that's it like uh, for me i was just like uh, i tried my best like there was an opportunity uh, that i could uh, change my branch so i just took it as an opportunity and then i just worked work, work on it so like you have an opportunity and just don't let it go away. that's it just to bring in a perspective there are around 900 people in our um, in in our batch approximately and only two people got vertical transfer so if you are pl- someone who is choosing a college on the basis of vertical transfer might be a pretty risky uh, option to do that I think thanks a lot Sushant for coming uh, onto my channel and sharing your knowledge. 
was pleasure interacting with you uh hopefully campus mein milenge jaldi se and uh, i hope you learned something new guys